Okay. Where you want? You want to start again? Ah? No, you can just start. I just cut out the front part. Oh, okay. So, um, so this is also an. Oh, okay. Can I start again? Ah? No, I'm not starting. Okay, nah. Continue. Okay, okay. So, uh, this is another popular, um, IG question. October, November, two o one eight. So, so very similar like just now. They break it down for you. Okay. So we must show the steps clearly. And they give you equation. Okay, so from here, titration question. They they say a student added twenty five cm cube of zero point two mole per dm cube sodium hydroxide. So whenever you see sodium hydroxide, okay, let me change the color. It's easier for you to see. So whenever you see sodium hydroxide, oh, there must be some kind of concentration. So from the unit, you know this is capital M concentration, and here this must be the volume V. So if you label it like this, it makes things a lot easier. And then they say add a few drops of metal orange as an indicator, and then dilute sulfuric acid to neutralize it. Okay, sulfuric acid H two SO four. Okay, so and then they give you an equation, very standard. So immediately from the equation, you can always write the ratio on top two to one, to one to two. Okay, so this will be helpful later. Uh, then we start with number one. Uh, the test what. Is the color of metal orange in the aqueous sodium hydroxide? So uh, this you might need to remember a bit in the acid and base chapter about neutralization. So uh, sodium hydroxide is an alkali. So alkali when tested in metal orange is yellow. Okay, so it'll be useful if you remember this metal orange. Okay. So yes, of course, when it's alkali, when it's neutral, and when it's acidic. Okay, so alkali will be yellow. Okay, when it's neutral, since it's called metal orange, so it will be orange. Okay, when it's acidic, very similar to those indicator, acidic is red. Okay, you can remember like represent danger. Okay. Ah, uh, then we move on to the second question. The calculation stoichiometry. So determine the concentration of dilute sulfuric acid in grams per dm cube. So when they give you this, is to they say, oh, after all this step, you can find the answer in gram per dm cube. Okay. So ah, uh, start this. Calculate the number of moles of uh, aqueous sodium hydroxide. So whenever you see number of moles, so you say, oh, okay, they need number of n. Okay, of sodium hydroxide. So referring to this sodium hydroxide given V and M, so uh, recall the formula M V over one thousand M here. Just put in zero point two V here twenty five divided by one thousand. So just use your calculator zero point two times twenty five one thousand. Okay. So this formula is very convenient because we already have this is for cm cube. You can just immediately put in cm cube. So you see a calculator like this. Uh, you can always press Shift E N G, Shift E N G, and they shift it here. So you can see clearly. Oh, zero point zero zero five. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you write the answer here. Okay. Done. Then next question. Calculate the number of moles of dilute sulfuric acid. So we from sodium hydroxide move on to this sulfuric acid. So you have to use the equation two ratio one. Since you have sodium hydroxide, zero point zero zero five mole, so two ratio one, this will be divided by half, so easily zero point zero zero five divided by half, zero point zero zero two five mole. So I write here again. Okay, so then this will be zero point zero zero two five mole. Okay, done. Very easy. So they always give you the information of one chemicals. And then ask you to find another use the ratio, use the equation. Then calculate the concentration of dilute sulfuric acid. Since they give you mole per dm cube, easily you just remember oh mole per dm cube. So mole is small n, dm cube is volume. Okay, concentration is actually capital M. So since you have the information already, sulfuric acid zero point zero zero two five mole. The volume. Do we have the volume? Go to the question in on top. The volume of dilute sulfuric acid needed to neutralize sodium hydroxide was twenty. So they give you in twenty cm cube. Ah, be careful here. 
20 cm cube, but they want you to change it to dm cube. Change it divided by 1000, 0 0.0 to dm cube. Okay, so now we put in. Okay, so please remember this mole in dm cube. So make sure you convert it before you print your calculator. Okay, so we got it 0 0.125 mole per dm cube. Okay, done. Okay, uh, then the last one. Uh, this is a bit uh, more challenging. So they want to, the mole to be in grams. Okay, so how you convert mole to gram? Uh, there are a few ways. The easier ones will be, of course, use the find the, the grams. So if you want to find gram, n equals to mass over molar mass. Okay, since you want to find this, times it over. Okay, so sulfuric acid, what is the number of moles? Here, 0 0.0025. Okay, molar mass of sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Now you have to use the periodic table. H2, so it's 2, S, find S, 32, oxygen, bigger number at the bottom, 16, 4 of it, here, okay? So, then of course, uh, this is how we do it in calculator, we always times this, 16 times 4, okay, plus 32, plus 2. So it's more convenient before we times the number of moles. Okay, so you get it at 0 0.245 gram. Okay, so since you have the grams already, so you need to find gram per, per dm cube. Just put in grams, divide the volume. So this is 0 0.245. The volume, same, 20 cm cube, which is 0 0.02. Okay, use the one on top. So once again, use your calculator. So you have it at 12.25 gram per dm cube. Okay, so these are the more popular questions. This less popular, but the whole thing will be about five to six marks. Okay, it's not very difficult. Done.